two weeks of practice, do you have a group of guys that you look at as probably going to redshirt? Have you made those decisions? Mm, we won't make any decisions on that till uh, after camp is over. Um, you know, I think it's uh, really difficult with some guys right now to know where they fit in. And uh, some guys, uh, you never know with injury and different things that happen. I've been through this a lot. And you're, you're midway through camp and you think there's no way a young man may be headed for a red shirt and all of a sudden an injury or two happen and he's thrust right into it. So we'll make those decisions. We move, and really won't make decisions totally on red shirt until about midseason, you know, to be honest with you. Do you think that you're in a position where you might make a change to the quarterback depth chart or practice snaps based on what happens Saturday? Might next week look possibly? Different? Yeah, I think we got to narrow it down to two. You know, there's no question, and, and uh, still have the third guy repping at times. But uh, you know, uh, uh, see see how they do Saturday. You know, we we've had a scrimmage situation on Wednesday. We got off the field. I thought all three guys did some really good things. Uh, we'll have no more. I limited the defense a little bit Wednesday on what they could do. So it'll be everything we've got in as far as the installation, which we've got a lot on both sides of the ball for Saturday and see how they function. Perry and Brandon remain ahead, the two ahead of the pack? Well, I think so for, for, as far as Jake is concerned, strictly just of, of experience and reps and turns. And, 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 and that's really it. I mean, from a talent level standpoint, he's right there. So it's just a matter of the experience within the offense and what we're trying to do. Any separation between Perry and Brandon? No, again, very, very well contested battle right now. And I want to get, I want to see them. And we've, we've created a bunch of one minute situations all week of putting them under duress in, in tough situations when they've got to manage the clock and manage the uh, the, the offensive football team. And, and Saturday will be a good judgment day for them. David Williams working his way yeah. back up a little bit with you? I mean, he's doing fine. Mm -hmm. well, he was with the – he's been – he was with the twos yesterday. I wouldn't read a lot into where <laughs> guys are repping right now. I mean, you know, I know you guys are only seeing a limited number of practice. I mean, there's AJ's repping with a third team at time, depending on rotation. And it's about reps. It's about getting guys in. I'm not, I'm not, we haven't released a depth chart unless Coach Finks did to, I mean, from the simple reason of right now, it really doesn't matter. It's just about turns and reps. We're rolling a bunch of guys in there and getting guys, you know, turns and reps. That's, that's what we're worried about right now. Well, does the offensive philosophy, what you guys are trying? change depending on who the quarterback is? Well, I think so, obviously, with Brandon's legs. That, that, that does change some things, obviously. But Perry and Jake are, are both guys that, uh, that, that are good enough athletes. You've got to account for them defensively. Well, how much weight will y'all will y'all put on tomorrow, especially in some of those areas where, like receiver, and maybe in the secondary, where you've got young guys and guys still trying to work their way into the mix a little bit. As far as oh, to, to, well, to, as far as tomorrow and that scrimmage situation and seeing them in that kind of environment. Oh, it's huge. I told our guys, you know, the choices and decisions you make on the field. What kind of football player are you? What kind of toughness do you have? What kind of effort do you display when the coaches are off the field? What do you know? How far along are you? Obviously, there's some guys we're sitting as a staff, understanding and knowing. We may have to help this guy a little bit here as far as alignment and some of those things are concerned. So uh, there's no question that, uh, that to, it's a huge judgment day for how those guys will, will respond to the situation. Is it going to be straight game situation tomorrow in terms well, of the format? Well, it will be more situational, like, you know, and we're going we're gonna to obviously incorporate special teams within it. But, you know, our plan right now, or really my plan going into it, we're going to meet as a staff at 1.30. But uh, started off with a normal kickoff situation and then uh, – you know, I always like to put the defense under some duress. We'll probably put the ball in the eight going in you know, immediately, you know, facing some adversity and, uh, and having to handle that and see how our guys respond to that. But we need to get some goal line work. We need to get some coming off the goal line work. That's something we haven't repped so far in camp. Uh, more red zone work, uh, you know, some move the ball, move the field, and then we're probably going to use a halftime, go in the locker room, show them how we run halftime. I think that's important for them to get exposed to that this Saturday and next Saturday, and then come out and I'll, I'll put 10 minutes on the clock and we'll have a 21-21 game and play out the game. I think it's important for our staff to go through all of the game management situations that arise, the different things that happen. We're a new staff, although I, albeit I've worked with Rope and T-Rob and Coleman and Mike and Lance and all these guys for a long time, I think it's important for us all to go through that. We'll have a press box operation Saturday, uh, just like game day. So, so that's how we'll incorporate it. And within those 10 minutes, we'll incorporate the special teams when they come up as far as punt, punt block, kickoff, kickoff return, and those sort of things. We're working out of the stadium. 
Absolutely. tomorrow. Yes. With special teams, how comforting was it to come in and know you have a, a senior kicker and an experienced punter uh, to lead Two talented guys. And so, you know, we've got to continue to improve our team speed and special teams. That's 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 critical. We also have some good returners. I'm a little worried about ball security and some issues. But Rashad and A.J., uh, Jamari Smith is a young man that's done a nice job. Chris Amons fields the ball extremely well. Debo Samuel does some nice things for us. And you, Rendricus Davis and Corey Banks are two young players that we're excited about. You've said a couple of times you don't mind playing two quarterbacks. Does that mean you don't mind playing two early until you see what you've got, or you don't mind playing two if they do different things well the whole season? I think we got to do what it takes to win. Yeah. You know, and if it takes two, it takes two. And um, I think that uh, you know the, the the competition has been very healthy from the standpoint of this three really class young men you yeah. know, that have been raised right and uh, good people. And and at the end of the day, they want the best for the University of South Carolina. Thanks, sir. All right, guys. Okay. Take Thank care. All righty. Thank you.